Well, hello. You must be excited because you are going to learn the most important concept of mass the heading questions. So in this class, I'm not going to tell you the concept, but I'm going to show it to you. So this will be a practical class. Well, so uh, I can hear that most of the instructors uh, tell their student for mass the headings question, what they need to do is they just need to go to the first sentence of the paragraph, read the first sentence, and then go to the list of headings, match the sentence, match the options, and bingo, there you are, right? So this is not completely true. In some cases, it can be fatal. It can be dangerous because there is a different case with match the headings. There is a different style of laying a trap for you. So what is that? That is what we will learn in this class. Uh, before going to this passage, let me begin with an example let me begin with a paragraph so here you are the name of this passage is follow your nose but i don't see a passage here because there is only one paragraph and here is a list of headings here is a paragraph this is paragraph a what i want you to do is i have already told you that this is going to be a practical class right so i don't want to tell you the concept i just want you to realize what is important while doing mass the headings questions so you are going to pause the video right now and read this paragraph and find a list of headings from these options did you do that okay great so what is the list of headings what option uh, did you select for this paragraph so it must be protection against old age difficulties right because you read the first and second sentences here and you quickly jumped to this one and i must say that you are correct but the problem is this is not the entire paragraph the real paragraph looks like this so what happened in this paragraph is let me go to the previous one after this line goes uh, uh, there is an addition in this paragraph so this is a real paragraph and let me tell you that this is the question asked in a real IELTS exam okay so do not take it for granted so so we did till this point after reading till this point you selected this heading right now I want you to read it again read till the end of the paragraph and tell me will you still select this heading go on go on please go on you can pause the video okay now i can see that you are quite confused because this is not only about protection against old age difficulties this is also about something else right okay great so you are also telling me that now the answer is conflicting views we know that in this paragraph the answer is two this is for sure but when I added some of some sentences, why did the, the heading change? What happened here? Now, this is the concept. See, up to this point, everything was going good, protection against all these difficulties. But after this sentence, everything changed. It says a systematic review of health database found almost no evidence that armor therapy is effective in the treatment of dementia. So what happened? What happened? How did this sentence change its course? It was a positive thing here, but it automatically and suddenly became negative. How did this happen? Because of this word, but. Now this is the game, okay? This is the game that these people play with you. This is a contrasting connector. The contrasting connector always changes the course of the sentence let me give you an example mr a is a good student but he failed in his exam see the first sentence said that mr a is a good student but the second sentence said he failed in exam what connected these two sentences but connected what appears before but doesn't matter what appears after but that matters Mr. A is a good student. It doesn't matter now because he failed his exam. So, but always connect two contrasting sentences. Okay. There are different other contrasting connectors. For example, but, however, while, although, yet, etc. After these words appear, what appear after these contrasting connectors matter. 
what appears before them before these words do not matter okay so this is not your topic sentence here the topic sentence is what appears after but so it may not immediately appear but it can be in another sentence and what is the topic sentence the main idea of the paragraph and we have to find a heading of this paragraph so heading must be the main idea yes yes so you have understood the concept of but there are more concepts first let's understand this and i will show some uh, some practical paragraphs to you so what happens is your instructor said that you need to go for this uh, first sentence second sentence and go to the list yes he or she was correct if the word but was not in the paragraph if you find any of the contrasting connector then the course of the sentence is going to be changed right so it does not matter what appeared before but what appears after but is all that matters that's why the the heading of this paragraph now is going to be conflicting views because this but appeared here and they gave some bad views and now there is a conflict between two views so this is the main boss here now the question is what if there is no but there is no however while although there are no any contrasting connector in the paragraph if there are no any contrasting connector in the paragraph then things become easier for you the first the second sentence will all go according to uh, uh, this all the sentences let's say second sentence third sentence fourth sentence will all go according to the first sentence because there is no contrasting connector to change the course of the sentence, to change the meaning of the sentence. For example, let's see this one. Can computers really create works of art? Artificial artists, right? Artificial artists. So there is something about painting fool. This is the modern day chat GPT, okay? Bard Google, chat GPT. The painting fool is one of one of a growing number of computer programs which so their makers claim possess creative talents now if there is a bot here it will simply go opposite to this statement but there is no any bot so this sentence will support this sentence let's see classical music by an artificial composer has had audiences enraptured and even tricked them into believing a human was behind the score see this is just supporting this let's move forward artworks painted by a robot have sold for thousands of dollars and been hung in prestigious galleries so this is also supporting the first sentence because there is no any word instead there is end so what does this end do and support the previous statement and uh, these words like and furthermore in addition in fact these are the words which always support the former sentences there are no any contradiction so in this case what you can do is you can simply look at this first and second sentences and the last sentences and you can go to the list of headings quickly okay you will not have a problem if you do not have bought however although while in the paragraph so this is the concept now let's see let's see this one i hope things are becoming interesting for you now let's see this one uh, I have already told you that this is going to be a practical class. So what I want you to do is pause the video and read this paragraph and just match one of these options. Now, you are going to tell me which option did you choose? Option 1, right? You chose option 1. So in this paragraph, you chose option 1 because there is no any bot and however to contrast any of the statements and the first and second statements were supported by the remaining of the statements that is the concept but the problem is see i used but because there is a problem right so the problem is this is not a complete paragraph the complete paragraph looks like this okay now read this paragraph and now you're going to tell me what is the heading of this paragraph okay so it is not positive positive it is not biological it is consequences of oxytocin so how did it change see before the option the answer was one but now the answer is four right so why did it how did it happen how did it actually happen because of this word however 
say this however exactly changed the course of the sentence the meaning of the sentences above right so in these sentences it was talking about the positive positive positivity of oxytocin but however it is not positive case studies have shown that it, it depends upon the person and circumstances it can have different impacts that means it can also have negative impacts so it is now talking about consequences of oxytocin c this is how things work in mass the headings especially in reading section okay you need to understand this if you do not find however if in the in the last sentence the, the word used is in addition furthermore in fact then you need to understand that that sentence is supporting the previous sentences there is no any contrast but if there are however but although you need to understand that what is told earlier doesn't matter what is told after these words it actually matters that is the concept okay this is the entire concept let's go to this passage in this passage there are two paragraph no there are four paragraphs no there are six paragraphs okay there are six paragraphs and now we will do paragraph a here so our first task is to search in the paragraph whether we have contrasting connectors or not so the first thing we always do is do is read the first and second uh, sentence quickly right you need to read it quickly so there is another technique for reading it I, I call it rabbit reading so this will be the topic of the next video because i need contents for other videos right okay so here i find the word bot this is the game here this is the entire game so what happens before but let's see we all know how it feels it means boredom right being bored how being bored feels because it is all about boredom can you see this we all know how it feels it's impossible to keep your mind on anything time stretches out and all the things you could do seem equally unlikely to make you feel better oh my god why am i being bored but here is something called but now this but says that what is said earlier is not correct but defining boredom so that it can be studied in the lab has proved difficult now this bird changes the course of the sentence it is now saying that here you defined boredom but it is actually difficult to define boredom now what it does is this sentence the other sentence will support this sentence what appeared after bot and they will not support this first sentence okay let's see see here it is saying there is not even agreement over whether whether boredom is always a low energy right see this thing same thing is supported here and at last it says an emotion that motivates us to stay away from certain situations it can protect from in infectious social situations so it is also talking about the positive thing of boredom after bot but before bot it was talking about the negative thing of boredom so this changes the course now what we can simply do is we can go to the list of headings and find the correct option now here i will talk about the second concept okay second concept of list the headings so you need to be very uh, very very focused right now see there are different words here for example let's go to three a new explanation and a new cure for boredom so you may think that this is going to be the answer because after but uh, boredom has been explained in a new way yes it can be but do you find a new cure for boredom do you find this thing new cure we do not find this thing in paragraph a that's why option three is not going to be the answer in your list of headings you need to go word by word okay look at each word and tally each word do they talk about this word, this word, this word, and this word? Let's see. The productive outcomes that may result from boredom. So do you have any productive outcome that may result from boredom? No. I don't think there is. No, there is not any productive outcome. But here it says boredom may protect them from infectious social situations. Social situations. 
then, but it is not productive but let's say that this is going to be the answer we can simply circle it if you are confused another one age groups it is not talking about age groups so we can simply cross it identifying those most affected by boredom see there is no about identify nothing about identification so in a list of heading question not all the list not all the options are going to confuse you there are at least two or three options that will confuse you okay so you need to choose those options and eliminate it one by one so let's see another one a new explanation this we already crossed it out i'm using green for the crossing right so we crossed this we crossed this system of classification for okay there is no any classification here we crossed it uh, across this a potential danger arising from boredom so that can be a new explanation we crossed this and teachers there are no any teachers here potential danger let's say is are they talking about danger let's say after but it's talking about the definition here right there is no any agreement so it is about definition it's not about danger let's cross it down so we have two options now we have two options a i or iv now we need to choose from them the positive outcomes that may result the first thing is it is plural right it is plural even if you say that this is a positive outcome so this is only one outcome there are no any positive outcomes here you can simply cross that but how do we choose four as our answer let's see problems with a scientific approach to boredom isn't it see what does it say here but defining boredom so that it it can be studied in the lab scientific approach scientific approach stood for the word lab right lab experimentation scientific approach has been difficult so it is talking about a problem with the scientific approach to boredom here it is clear, clearly it says that so how do we find the answer by focusing on the sentence appearing after but not focusing on our first sentence so if you only focus on the first and second sentence if you do neglect about this but however while all the words contrasting connectors then you are going to fail okay i mean you are going to do, commit mistakes there is no any passing and failing in ilts so this is the concept that you need to understand now let's go to this one let's clean this mm, we have taken option four so what i will do is i will check that option with red color okay we have already taken this so let's cross this out so you are also going to cross uh, cross these options out those options which have been taken so we have crossed this out now we will go to paragraph b let's see uh, let's read the first sentence yes we are always going to read the first sentence so uh, you can pause the video and read it and we find that it's talking about five distinct types right and different so there are five di di uh, distinct types so this is also known as categories okay so is there any but however in our sentence no see this is still talking about type can you see it here it is still talking about type why is it because there is no any contrasting connector to oppose the first and second sentences so still it is talking about the types Mm -hmm. okay so this is all about the categories we can understand simply by looking at this first and second sentences here there are no any uh, contrasting connectors to opposite it's still here talking about type the most amazing is uh, reactant boredom with its explosion okay it's talking about type and talking about the most dangerous one now let's see here let's see the productive outcomes no it is not talking about productive outcomes so let's uh, eliminate it by green using a green yeah i know I'm, I'm using the opposite colors okay here we eliminated this teachers there's no mentioning of teachers so eliminate it new explanation and a new cure do you find any new explanation here mm, i don't find it so there is no explanation and even not a cure potential danger potential danger okay it can be and here we have a classification word creating a system of classification for feelings of boredom it can be age groups do we have age groups 
no it doesn't talk about eight groups so you can just remove it identifying those people most affected by boredom so if you are confused you can simply go here and read some two or three sentences uh, we know that the most uh, dam damaging is this one reactant but it is not uh, talking about people it is not identifying any anything right anybody those it says those so it is not identifying anybody's so at last we have two options again so you can simply eliminate it and there will be two or three options at most there will be three options to confuse you and now you are going to eliminate one of these so here it says creating a system of classification for feelings of boredom system of classification it is already told here that recently identified five different types they can be plotted on two axes c there are more classifications now one running left and right da 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 so here they come and they are again classifying the most dangerous one the most damaging and that is reactant this is all about classifying this is not about potential danger arising from, from boredom right okay so six is going to be our answer here our answer is six okay so i'm just trying to make you understand the concept see let's uh, see we eliminated four we took we took four and we took six okay this is already taken now we will do one last one see mm -hmm. here all emotions are there for a reason including boredom so this person here is talking about goodness of boredom right found that being bored makes us more creative yes this person this psychologist here is talking about boredom making us creative now we need to have a contrasting connector to oppose this sentence do we have any contrasting connector here we have but let's see we're all afraid of being bored but in in actual fact it can lead us to uh, lead to all kinds of amazing things yes so here what did this but do this is an uh, this is a statement so before but what it says we are all afraid of being bored we are all afraid but then it says we should not be afraid because it leads us to amazing things right so this but is not contrasting this statement but this but is const contrasting this statement and this is a negative statement about bored we are all afraid of being bored this is a negative statement but after this word appeared but here we have the positive statement see it is changing the course so it it is still talking about the positivity of bot so, uh, bored being bored okay i mean that so now let's see do we have any other contrasting connectors no we have a supporting connector here in fact we have in fact that means now you may not even read what's written after in fact obviously the words after in fact is talking the positive thing of boredom because it says in fact and before in fact we have positive things relating to boredom so this in fact is supporting the positivity let's read it in fact c goes so far as to suggest that we should seek out more boredoms in our life see still it is taking us to the peak of positivity right so this is the word this is the game here this is a positive word in fact i don't say this is a positive word if the sentences before in fact were negative then it would have supported the negative right so in fact what is does it supports what is said earlier but if there is however what it does it does not support what is said earlier so if there was however here what actually matters is what appears after however okay it doesn't matter what appears before however but what appears after however part while although that matters but in fact always support the preceding sentences so what can be the heading here let me eliminate the wrong ones okay okay i know you found it still this is a process let's see age groups it's not talking about age groups it's not talking about teachers it's not talking about cure boredom explanation new explanation and cure there's no any cure it's not obviously it's not talking about danger it's not identifying anybody here so the one last is left and let's see whether it is the correct one or not and here we find the productive outcomes see 
productive outcomes that may result from boredom okay so this is how you do it okay this is how you do it see you don't have to read the entire thing just read read it one or two sentences if you do not find any contrasting connectors then read the conclusion and come up with a with a conclusion of this uh, uh, come up with the main idea of this paragraph and go to it but if there is a contrasting connectors then you can have a problem you need to be very careful okay so this is the class of uh, mass the headings and this is the entire concept and what you need to do now is you need to go to other mass the headings questions and read it and before ending the class i would like to tell you that you also need to look at these words this uh, heading options word by word okay you cannot just select a heading just because you you found the word teacher so let's do this much for this class thank you for watching the video